example, we're going to be using Cornerstone Exercise 817 that can be found in your textbook on page 369. We will be constructing a segmented income statement. When putting together a segmented income statement, we will be using variable costing. Our company, Gorham Nurseries, grows poinsettias and fruit trees, and they have provided us with the following information for the coming year. They have given us the sales for each segment of their business, the variable cost of goods sold, and their direct fixed overhead. When we're talking about direct costs, those are costs that are directly related to one segment of a business. Therefore, if a company decided to eliminate a specific segment of a business, those direct costs would also be eliminated. The problem also tells us that the company has a sales commission of 4% for each of their two product lines. The company also has direct fixed selling and administrative expenses. There is also common fixed overhead and common selling and administrative expenses. Common overhead and selling and administrative expenses are shared by two or more segments of a business. Therefore, if this company was to eliminate their fruit tree segment, their common costs would not be changed. We will now construct a segmented income statement. As with any income statement, we start with our sales revenue that was provided to us in the problem. We're anticipating for the coming year that the poinsettias will have $970,000 in sales revenue and the fruit trees will have $3,100,000. Therefore, for the company in total, there'll be $4,070,000 in revenue. Again, remember, with a segmented income statement, we're using variable costing. Therefore, we put together a contribution margin income statement and we will start with our variable cost of goods sold. That information was also provided to you in the problem. They tell us for our poinsettias that we're anticipating $460,000 in variable cost of goods sold. And for our fruit trees, we are anticipating $1,630,000. We also have a variable selling expense that we need to subtract here. Again, as a reminder, how to calculate contribution margin is our total sales minus all of our variable expenses. They tell us that for each product line, the company pays a sales commission of 4%. So we'll take our sales for each segment and multiply it by 4%. This gets us our contribution margin for each segment of our business and the company in total. The next part of our segmented income statement will involve all of our direct costs for each segment. They told us that each segment of our business has both direct fixed overhead as well as direct selling and administrative expenses. Our direct fixed overhead was provided to us in the problem direct fixed overhead for our poinsettias and 200,000 in direct fixed overhead for our fruit trees. They also tell us that we have $146,000 in direct selling and administrative expenses for our poinsettias and 87,000 for our fruit trees. This shows what our segment margin is for each segment of our business. The hope is that each segment will have a positive segment margin, which would mean that each segment of the business can cover their own expenses with their own revenues that they've generated, and hopefully be able to contribute to some of the common expenses that they share. In this problem, they told us we have $800,000 in common fixed overhead, 
as well as $450,000 in common selling and administrative expenses. That would result in an operating loss of $25,800. Since each segment of the business has a positive segment margin, this would indicate to the company that they would have to look at their common expenses, see where they could make potential cuts, increase their overall operating income.